What it do, what it do, what it do. Welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. What's up, everybody? Yo, thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys, if this your first time here, welcome. Welcome. This video right here is, this video series right here is for the new jacks that's ready to come into the industry and they want to know about these companies out here. Of course. I am here to bring all that information to you. Of course, I sent out a shout out in my community page asking everybody who they want me to call. And a subscriber came up with Baylor Trucking. That's who we're going to call today. We're going to find out a little bit of information about Baylor Trucking to see if it's a right fit for you. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Unfortunately, I can't find I, I can't find the actual website for Baylor. I, I did find this one though, but it's it's their recruiting page. But they give you some information. They says that they have Ultra Loft Peterbilt's and Kenworth 1060s or 1060s T 680s with APU refrigerator inverter and XM and more. Dropping hood freight, four trailers for every one truck to keep you moving. The pay is up to 55 cents per mile based on verifiable over the road experience, of course. Lease purchasing is available. Per diem package is available. And it says, trust us to treat you right. Well, let's, uh, let's see if Baylor do treat their drivers right let's go into the uh let's go into the reviews right here from indeed and the first five uh negative one family owned hard to work for fleet manager took care of the trucking dispatch of 45 trucks for the third party account Sometimes day, night, weekend, not good place to work if you're into if you're in the family. Hmm. They say twelve was helpful. Hostile. No rules being followed. The pros of this company is uh, driving the truck. Cons of this company is no leadership, lack of pay, Qualcomm constantly going off with idiot messages. Won't repair the trucks. Most trucks fail DOT inspections. CSA score for the company is too high. It's a last chance company. This guy said he's glad he didn't stay with Baylor. Let's see if there's any good ones. Let's see. But not everyone's cup of tea. People's nice. Plenty of breaks. I made 4000 a month, if not more. Life was good. Still good to me. Reason why I left Baylor was due to the fact that I could I could more than double my money in the oil field. I took that bait. As, as always, you got to take these reviews, these mixed bad reviews with a grain of salt. Because some of the drivers that, that review the companies are disgruntled. Some of them drivers like to give them the fives or some of them are legit. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what the CSA has to say about it. All right, so CSA, they are, let's see, number of vehicles, 215, number of drivers, 201. So they, they still, they, 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 they consistent with their drivers and their vehicles. Number of inspections, 404. Uh, let's see, the out of service rates, vehicles been out of service 13.5%, the drivers 2.0%, and hazmat none. The latest from six months unlawfully parking a vehicle, failing to wear a seat belt, fell into obey control device, speeding, speeding, control device control device lane restriction violation using a handheld telephone while operating a CMV again that's not good 
uh, speeding, leaving the vehicle in the roadway. And that's, uh, that's about it for this year. Baylor. Baylor is a last chance company, some drivers say. So let's uh, give this last chance company a call. Thank you for calling Baylor Trucking. This is Olivia. Olivia, good morning. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. My name's uh, Sean, and I, uh, I I have a Facebook group that I'm in, and uh -huh. we was talking about, you know, talking about companies that some drivers are interested in. Mm -hmm. Baylor was the topic of our conversation, so I thought I'd give you guys a call today to to see uh, to see what you guys can offer. Sure. How much experience do you have? I have four years. Four years, and that's all over the road? Yes. Okay, and you're in Cleveland? Yes. Is that right? Or Okay. Well, that's a good area for us. We run the most miles in Ohio. Um, we have a drop lot in Lordstown up there by you. Um, and would you be, what kind of home time would you want? We could pretty much offer you weekly or if you stay out longer, we do pay more. All right. Well, you said uh, get paid more if I stay out longer. So, okay. we'll, so, I, <laughs> so I guess. If you stay out, yeah, if you stay out for two weeks at a time. Um, your pay would go up. So at going home weekly at four years of verifiable experience, you'd be looking at $0.42. Cents. If you stay out for two weeks, it goes up to $0.47. Cents. $0.47. Cents. Okay. So uh -huh. uh, so if I do the two-week thing, I would be getting $0.47. Mm -hmm. cents. Would that, would that mm -hmm. switch between the two? Like, let's say... Let's say one month I want to go home every week, and then the next month I want to I want to stay out. Do do that switch? To be honest, to be honest, um, it's not like not tracked that closely. Um, you know, I mean, if you were to start going home every week, you know, you were out weekly or every two weeks, and then you start going home every week, and it was consistently doing that, then. It, then it would be brought up and it would be reevaluated. But um, if you were to stay out for two weeks and then, like, I don't know, something happens and next month you need home, every, you know, two weekends in a row, they're not going to change your pay on that. Oh, okay, so. okay. All right, so I, I, yeah. I just basically got some general questions uh, just to get sure. an idea of what the company is about. Um, do you guys offer sure. uh, CDL training? We don't do CDL training. We do um, we do training once you have your CDL. Oh, so you okay. do not have to have experience, but you do have to have your CDLA to work here. Okay. Do you have your CDLA? Uh, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm just talking about for like drivers that 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 uh, that just got their CDLs and um and they coming into the they coming into the industry because you know some of the drivers I talk to. Um, you know, they have different situations with uh, different trainers. Mm -hmm. So my question sure. to you is about the, uh, about the trainers right quick. Um, if a driver, what would be what would be the protocol? Like if a driver gets with a with a driver trainer and he's out over the road with that trainer. And let's say mm -hmm. let's say the 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 comfort is not there. Would that would that trainee have a problem getting with another getting with another trainer to continue his or her uh, training? I mean, we only we only have a handful of trainers, so and our trainers are very very good, and we've ne that has never been an issue. Okay, that has never been an issue for any of our trainers. That a, a trainee gets with them and they don't feel that their trainer is it is not up to par okay so that's never that's never been an issue and usually our our trainees don't typically switch trainers mm -hmm. the only way we ever really switch trainers is like we have one trainer that will take brand new student or we only have a couple trainers that will take brand new students right and then like a couple that um that want students that have experience Oh, okay. With okay. a little bit, you know, that have at least driven for a couple months. Okay. Um, so sometimes once they get a couple months training or once they get a little bit of experience with the trainer, then sometimes we'll switch them to bring on a new one 
that can go with one of the guys that will take one without any experience. All right, cool. That sounds good. What's the uh, – yeah. other than other than Ohio, my state, my home mm-hmm. state, uh, other than mm-hmm. Ohio, what, what's, what are the other higher areas? I mean, we hire pretty much anywhere except for California and, like, Washington. Um, I, really, though, we don't operate much um, beyond – I-35. We we stay pretty much east of I-35. So um, definitely uh, somewhere better is better for us if you live east of I-35. Okay. Um, but you our, say- so like I said, the most the most miles are ran in Ohio. The second state is Pennsylvania, and the third is probably Indiana. Oh, okay. So okay. the Midwestern, yeah. Well, the Midwestern mm-hmm. and Pennsylvania mm-hmm. is east. But I kind of say like if you take a line and draw from Philadelphia over to Chicago, down to uh, to Dallas and over to Atlanta and back up, the majority of our freight is going to fall within those four lines. All right. What about Florida? Not all. We we do go to Florida, but. Um, we typically save the Florida loads for the drivers we have that, that live stay in, Florida. in Florida. So you guys do hire mm-hmm. out of out of Florida, then? Mm-hmm. We do. Okay, okay. Now you already said the drop lot is is located in uh in Ohio and Lawrence towns, but where are the? Yeah, terminals? we have we have a couple drop lots. So we have three in Ohio. We have one in Lordstown. We have one in Columbus. One in Cincinnati. Our yard is about 30 miles west of Cincinnati off of I-74. Okay. Um, it's in Indiana. And we also have a drop lot in Memphis. We have one in Atlanta. Um, and we have another terminal just north of Nashville. All right. So these, so the drop lots are different from the terminals. So it just sounds like yeah. you only got two terminals. Yeah, we just have the two terminals. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we have drop lots where we'll leave loaded trailers that are right. secure, and our drivers can park in them and things like that. Which one? Of, which one of those terminals that I'll be coming for my orientation? It would be uh, the one just outside of Cincinnati. Oh, okay, okay. So the one in Indiana. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Is there is there a yeah. sign-on bonus? And if so, how is it paid out? We we don't offer a sign-on bonus because our drivers get such high miles. Okay. Um, and, you know, a lot of times when you see those sign-on bonuses, they're contingent upon yeah, running so many miles, right. and they won't give you right. those miles, and you don't end up getting it. So bonus. we right. do, and we do a weekly minimum. So if you don't hit enough to make $1,000, we'll bump up your pay as long as you were available for dispatch all week. Okay, okay. All right. So, Yeah. For pre-employment uh, drug testing, do you guys require hair follicles? Um, we do not. Okay, so we it's, do. So it's urine. Yeah, we. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Do, do you guys have those so-called agility tests? Like, you know, if y'all need, for me to get up into the trailer or get up into the truck or duck walk under the trailer, do you guys do that? Um, you know, I've honestly never been, I've never watched the whole process, but uh, I do know that we require that you be able to get up into the trailer. Okay, okay. Yeah, some yeah. some places want you to, you know, duck walk under a trailer and, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I'm like, yeah, I you mean, know, for there, the big there guys, may be times, <laughs> for the big right, guys, I mean, it's going to be difficult. But there might be a time, you know, when... If something's wrong that you gotta you know get under there and look at the tires if one of the tires is right you know, right you know, blowing s- out stuff or like something. that yes yes yeah yeah stuff like yeah. that um are you guys felon friendly uh what's, what's your policy on felons um possibly it depends on it's kind of a case-by-case basis you need to know um what the felony was how long ago because mm-hmm. we do run background tests okay. uh, checks Okay. Now, while you guys, uh, now if you run my background check, all right, mm-hmm. uh, and say I worked at uh, like maybe about nine, maybe about nine to ten companies within within a year, will you guys look at will you guys look at that as well? Because some of the companies I talked to in the past look at job jumping as a problem. Yeah, we. We yep. We will not hire you if you've been with more than 
three companies in the last year. In the last year? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. my, my orientation uh, will be held in Indiana. So how long is, is the orientation and do I, do I get paid? Now, let me ask you this. Do I, if I go to the orientation and if it's paid, do I get paid regardless if I don't follow up with the orientation? Say if I go there for a couple of days and then on the last day something should happen or something like that and I, you know, decide to bail out. Question one, will you guys get me back home? And then question two, would I still get paid for the two days I was there? No and no. Um, you're kind of on. We'll send you, if if we turn you down, we'll send you home on a bus. Okay. Um, we rent you a car to come here, but if we turn you down, if you decide to leave, you're kind of on your own. Okay. Now, if, now if you guys turn me down and I went through the orientation, would I still get paid for the for the time no. that I was there? Oh, okay. No. Okay. Uh. Okay. Do you guys offer, do you guys uh, require hazmat? We do not. Okay. Uh, what if I decide to get my hazmat? Would, would I get an increase in pay? Um, I don't believe so. We don't, we hardly do any hazmat loads, so there's really no need for us okay. to have, for our drivers to have one. So the cent per mile, as you said before, if I go home every week, it's 42, and if I, and if I stay out it's 47 right is yeah, is four the, years of verifiable experience okay is the uh is the pay based on straight miles or is there a sliding scale no that's straight miles all right you guys now if i come there you know to the orientation and come on come aboard with you i'm going to be broke so do you guys offer pay advances um, that's kind of a case by case basis. Um, usually, usually not. You're paid your orientation. Um, you get that money um, the Friday after orientation. So you would come here on a Sunday, Sunday night. We'd rent you a car. You'd get to Cincinnati Airport Sunday night. Um, and Monday and Tuesday is regular orientation. Wednesday, you get your first dispatch and go. Mm -hmm. And then Friday, you get paid your orientation money. And then um, whatever you ran from Wednesday, you would get paid the following Friday. Okay, okay, and cool. Then, and then the following Friday, you would get your previous week. All right, per diem. I, I, okay. see, it on the, I, I see it on the website. And speaking of the website, mm -hmm. I wasn't able to get any other information uh, off the website. But per diem. Uh, is it well? I, I see it's offered, but is it mandatory? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Vacations and holiday pay. Uh, yes and yes. Vacation after one year, and then holiday pay is. Uh, let's see. It's like an extra fifty dollars a day. Um, and then during Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Um, working through all those months, you have the opportunity to earn up to um, an extra two thousand dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Now, vacation. Yeah. Let me ask you about that. Is is vacation pay based off of based off a certain amount? Like some 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 companies that uh, offer vacation, but they offer like a set amount, and it's not based off of like if you go on vacation for a week oh, hold, hold on real quickly hold on okay okay i'm sorry oh no you um did. um anyhow what so what was your i'm sorry what was your question no I, 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 I was saying about the vacation is it is it based off a set amount or is it or, oh yeah so your your total um you all the so you get it after a year mm -hmm. you get one week's paid vacation after a year so it is and one week. um okay. yeah years one week two years two weeks oh okay um and y the average that you work so you, all the time you worked is averaged out and you get a week's paid vacation of what your average was for that year oh okay okay cool cool uh breakdown detention pay we do detention, um, and yeah, breakdown. I mean, we'll 
we'll compensate you for your time. Mm -hmm. um, but we try to get you going pretty quick. Like if it's going to be a while, mm -hmm. we'll probably put you in another truck. Okay. What about layovers? How, how, how often do layovers yeah. there happen? I mean, most of our freights drop and hook, so that's usually not oh, an okay. issue. It's so. not an issue. Okay. But okay. we do pay it if, if it is. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, how many miles that I can average a week? Our drivers are, are hard runners, average 2,800 miles, no problem. About 2,800. All right, and yeah. you already mentioned all of the lanes that's available. Do you guys have uh, other divisions? Do you guys have a uh, flatbed? Well, we, we don't have flatbed. We do have reefer, but um, we have dedicated reefer drivers. Oh, okay. So I, so would I, would, would I be considered uh, if I want to drive reefer? Uh, we are not hiring for reefer right oh, now. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. How's the how's the miles uh, calculated? What do you mean by that? Is it calculated zip code to zip code, home home good miles? Oh, oh, Brandon I believe Nally. it's I believe it's zip code to zip code. Zip code to zip code. Okay. It's, uh, I'm sorry. It's practical. I'm sorry. Practical miles. Practical miles. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, do you guys re do you guys do reimbursement for scales, tolls, any anything that I would buy outside of the yes. outside of the company? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and we already uh, did we go in depth? Well, home. Okay. So we did talk about home time a, uh, a little bit uh, by me mm -hmm. going home every week. Uh, but for the drivers that stays out. Uh, that stays out and you know go home whenever how long can they stay out or uh, what's what's the home time policy for the, the two weeks so it's pretty much 34 hours for every six day dispatch so um, 14 days out you would be looking at um, a little over two days three weeks out a little over three three days oh okay okay so What's the what's the maximum I could I could take off? If you were to stay out for little, like a month at a time, or yeah, say like, well, what's the maximum I could take off home time? So you said for every six days is thirty uh, my thirty four hour reset. But what if I need like emergencies? Uh, then that's another question in itself too. So for like emergencies and stuff like that, you know, if I call up my fleet manager and be like, "Hey, I got to stay out a couple more days," would that be a problem? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as for emergencies, as long as as long as you communicate that, and you know, you let them know. Obviously, if it's an emergency, it's an emergency. Right. Um, but. You know, you just have to, if you know ahead of time, mm -hmm. then you need to um, just kind of communicate that as early as possible so they can have a proper PTA time on you. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Um, okay. No slip seating there? The truck is mine when I get it? Yeah. Yeah. The truck okay. is yours. Pet and rider policy? Yes. What you guys got? Um, we do not allow pets in company trucks. Mm -hmm. um, rider policy, after 60 days you can have a rider, but you can't have them between November and April. Why is that? Because those are the uh, months where snow is a potential oh, concern. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, so while, while I'm out driving... Um, and me being the company driver, I, I'm I'm about to switch over to the lease. Ask you a couple of questions about the lease, right quick, because I, I I've been interested in lease for for a little bit. But um, am I forced dispatch to New York City or California? Um, we don't really go into California much. We do go into New York City, but we don't force anyone to go. Okay. What kind of equipment you guys offer? Kenworth T680s. What's the uh, what's the amenities for them? They are fully equipped with refrigerators, APUs, inverters, um, TV mounts. Most of them have microwaves. Not all of them. Um, XM radio. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sounds sounds comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Are they are they autos or manuals or both? They're all automatics. 
Oh, uh, okay. So y'all y'all switch over to an auto fleet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, does the truck does the truck well does company trucks come with a drive cam? All of our um, trucks have forward facing cameras only. Oh, okay. What's the what's the truck governing that? Sixty three on the pedal, sixty five on uh, cruise. Sixty three on the pedal. Okay. Mm-hmm. Leasing. You guys offer leasing, right? Is it is it a uh, is it leasing through you guys? Is it a walk away lease? What, what what type of leasing you guys offer? Okay, so we do our lease purchase is it's a percentage of the line haul, seventy two percent, one hundred percent fuel surcharge. Um, it is not a walk away lease. It is a true lease purchase. So. Once you make your last payment, you own that truck outright, and there's no balloon payment. Okay, okay. Now, what's the what's the C? What's so it's so it's percentage based, not CPM on on the lease, right? Right. It's a percentage of the line haul. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what that what can I can I uh, look on a low board and pick out my own lows, or would I be subject no, we, to a we, dispatcher? No, we, for one, we are mostly customer freight. I think 95% of our freight it comes from our customers, mm-hmm. um, and we do have a customer service team that will broker any loads needed. Okay. What I, I'm, I'm still in control of my truck, though, by, you know, by leasing, so if I get a load that's that's that I feel that's not comfortable to me would I would I be able to turn it down and have them to get something else for me that's comfortable to me I mean yes and no like they're not going to turn down customer freight to um, get you a brokered load okay because for one our customer freight's gonna pay better but if it contradicts with your home time or something like that absolutely but you know, some sometimes you get into Philadelphia and the backhaul. Like your load getting from Ohio to Philly is going to pay really well, mm-hmm. but your load getting back from Philly back to Ohio mm-hmm. is a backhaul and doesn't pay as well. You can't say, "Oh, find me something different," oh. because you know what I mean. You, you got to take that. But um, sorry. Um, <laughs> anyhow. Brain. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I know. Um, I haven't got my coffee in yet. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's never really an issue. But um, you know, like I said, we we mostly have customer freight to cover everything that you're gonna need, and what? they're not they're not like I said, they're not gonna let you turn down a customer load to get you a brokered load. Okay. What's the uh what's what's the payment of uh what's the payment for the truck a week? So all the truck payments are roughly uh right around seven fifty a week. The length and the down payment determine um on the truck you get. Okay. Uh when I when when I come in to do leasing with you guys, do you guys do a background check as far as credit goes and stuff like that or is this We don't do a credit check in um the to- terms of the loans. Uh the percentage is nine percent. So what would be the okay, so you say this is this isn't a walk away lease. So what would be the right. consequences for me if, let's say, for example, I'm not filling the company. The balance I, of the truck. The balance of the, so you guys will still come after me for the balance that's of the wh- truck. That's why, so our our turn our turnover or our, um, I guess, our, yeah, our turnover for, for owner-operators is very, very low here. Okay. Um, we have one of the best lease purchase programs in the industry um it sounds like you're you're knowing all the questions to ask therefore you yeah. should know all the stuff to look up if you yeah. you look up our lease purchase ours is going to be one of the top in the country yeah um okay so so our turnaround for lease purchase drivers is very low um, you know, and that is why 
we want you to be company for sixty first. days first. Oh, okay, right, right. They because get, they get a feel because for the it's company. not a walk away because because it's not a walk away lease. Exactly. Exactly. And I yeah. And I don't want to exactly. get I don't want to get stuck. Right. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck. Uh, I guess my other question would be uh, would be on the same line. Like, okay, so since I'm since I'm stuck with the payments of the truck for the duration of the of the lease, and I do decide to leave the company, can I take the truck with me? If it's paid off in full, you can. Oh, ho, ho. not while I'm still paying for it. No, because you still have the lease through Baylor. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel it. I feel it. Okay. Well, yeah, definitely need to definitely need to do the homework before you sign that <laughs> before you sign that document. <laughs> Wow. All right. Um, uh, now you you said for company drivers as the uh, for the uh, pet and rider uh, for the company drivers. What about for the lease drivers? Uh, can pet and rider or can pets? Can we bring pets uh, for the leasing? I mean, for the lease drivers. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. What's the uh, what's the What's the uh, governing truck for the uh, lease drivers? It's the same, 63 on the pedal, 65 on cruise. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, well, that's 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 uh, that's that's about it. What, what's your what's your policies on uh on cell phones? Um, uh, you need to have a Bluetooth while you're driving. Oh, okay. Yeah, some companies won't even allow you to have that, so that's yeah. why I was uh, that's why I was asking. All right, well, cool. Well, thank you, thank you. Lots of information. Yeah. I will definitely take this information back uh, to my channel and to my uh, Facebook group, and uh, definitely let them know that I've spoken with you today. Um, if you like, you can you can send me uh, your information. Uh, via email if you like and I can I can share that with uh, with different people I'll come across if you want okay what's right. your email it is lockout men l o c k oh I, I, I definitely appreciate the time that you're giving me to the the, the the go over the company it's, it's some some pretty good uh some pretty good information um, the I'm I'm like on the fence with the with the two weeks and the and the and the home thing because I really do want to get home every week because I'm so used to it now. But yeah, yeah I, don't like wanna, I, said, I don't I don't want to take Cleveland's a, pay cut a great either. area. We can get you home every week without a problem. Just we incentivize our drivers with a higher pay to stay out longer. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Uh, so. Can we? Can I take the truck home with me? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Well, what's your name again? What's your name again? I'm. <laughs> I'm Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. You have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Thank you. You do the same. I will. Make sure you get that coffee in you now. I know. I will. All I right. will. Take it easy, ma'am. Mm -hmm.